Welcome back. You're watching Drone Tech, watching the Democrat state media while getting extremely irritated. But sometimes you get a little Schattenfrude payoff, and this is one of those times. This morning on the CBS Morning Show, co-host Nate Burleson broke the apparent news that Science Now says, get this, climate change causes volcanic eruptions. Holy sh something new to be scared of so Democrats can get unending omnipotent power. Now we're going to take you to the Pacific nation of Tonga, which is devastated after a massive undersea volcanic eruption. This satellite image shows a neighborhood in Tonga as it looked last month. And here's what the area looks like now. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Wow. That's just awful. All that death and destruction from an act of nature that we humans can't do anything to stop. I don't know, hopefully these stoic, just the facts, defenders of democracy over at CBS can give us all some useful information so that we can help these poor people. We yeah. talk about climate change quite yes. a bit. And yep. these stories are a harsh reality of what we're going through. And we have to do our part because these are more frequent. Yes, yeah, and if you're on the West Coast, the clock is ticking on the big yeah. one. People yeah. are worried, I mean. Oh yeah, just look at the confidence in that face. <laughs> now they're claiming that climate change causes volcanic eruptions. Since when? Is this a new discovery? Let me go check on this right now. All right, let's see here. Volcanoes, climate change. What do volcanoes have to do with climate change? Volcanic eruptions are often discussed in relation to climate change because they release CO2 and other gases into our atmosphere. Will the volcano eruption affect the global climate? Ashes from Tongo eruption reaches record altitudes, but climate cooling? Let's check out some images. Yeah. This one's just showing volcanoes effects on the climate. Okay, well, just as I thought, volcanoes definitely affect climate change because they're spewing tons of ash and CO2 into the atmosphere. But I've never heard that volcanoes themselves are caused by climate change. And it's weird because these people at CBS are acting like this is just common knowledge. Talk about climate change quite yes. a bit. And yep. These stories are a harsh reality of what we're going through. And we have to do our part because these are more frequent. Yes, yeah. All right, the best part of this story is coming up, but give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer for my viewers. Now, something's not adding up, is it? Stocks are at record highs, but the government just borrowed $5 trillion. Inflation is transitory, but it just went up to 6.8%. How much did your wages go up? Gas, electricity? A precious metals IRA with Noble Gold will help you to avoid the worst of this. This month, Noble Gold is giving away a free 1 10th ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualified plan you start. Start by calling 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Just make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. So right after Curtis Hawk from newsbusters.org, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your last name, but after he posted this clip on Twitter, Nate responded saying, quote, Hey, Kurt, you have to listen. Didn't say the volcano was caused by climate change. Um, actually, Nate, you did, or at least heavily implied it. Talk about climate change quite yes. a bit. And yep. These stories are a harsh reality of what we're going through. And we have to do our part because these are more frequent. Yes, yeah. Mother Nature has ways of contributing to climate change. So my point is we need to do our part to take care of this planet. I missed a few days at school, but this wasn't one of them. And as you can see, he attached an image to this tweet. Wait a minute, that image looks really familiar. <laughs> In an attempt to own the conservatives and cover up his blatant spreading of misinformation, CBS News host Nate Burleson made the exact same Google search that we just did, and then he used the very first image that popped up, which doesn't show volcanoes being caused by climate change. It shows volcanoes causing climate change. And they continue to blame Trump for historic low trust in the news media. Reading this guy's self-ownage is hilarious too, with many of his followers not realizing that this graphic doesn't show what they think it does. This CBS News misinformation session was brought to you by Chevy and Swiffer. Don't spend your money on people that fund propaganda aimed at taking away your rights and liberty for a doomsday cult. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm my rate media guy on Twitter now, so come follow me. That's all I have for this one. Smack that like button and let me know what you think about these CBS hacks in the comments.